places. Uh, if we could touch and agree. It is written that if you touch and agree on anything, it shall be done. And what we are touching and agreeing is on for the betterment of the subjugated race, the ones who come from ancestors that was uprooted out of peoplehood and replanted into propertyhood and given, uh, given uh, a name and a nationality and a motherland tongue language taken away from us and for 246 years was held as hostages in, uh, as non-human being chattel, which simply means movable property. And then followed by another 88 years of Jim Crow genocide in which we received untreated heart and mind damage that was proven in court as to uh, six-year-old children. And it was said that it was doubtful that they would ever overcome it. But no one ever counseled us. No one ever treated us in any way. And that was May 17, 1954. Those six-year-old children are now 66-year-old senior citizens and have passed the untreated heart and mind damage on down for three generations. We passed it to our children who are in their 50s. They have passed it to their children who are in their 30s. And now the children in their 30s are passing it on down to their children that are now teenagers. But the buck stops here with the six-year-old children. In the 60s, we turned this world upside down. Now that we are 60s, it's time for us to turn it right side up again. And if not us, then who? And if not now, then when? And, and you're Eve Angel? I'm Eve Angel, Mama D. Love, Yah Nubian. Last you're Sunday, president of the Global Committee? I, I am president of Global Committee commemorating King Page and uh, the mother of Emmett Hill Rose because I created the idea personally wrote the ordinance and lobbied and financed three and a half years to teach our children about the children murdered in the movement. Uh, the 14-year-old Emmett Hill and also the four little girls, age 11 to 14, that was burned, bombed in a Birmingham jail. Also, I wanted them to know about the children that changed America. Six-year-old Linda Brown and 14-year-old Michael, ja 11-year-old Michael Jackson singing an educational song, A, B, C, one, two, three. Those were the children that changed America, and they are all uh, descendants of Jim Crow genocide survivors. I just want to thank everyone for coming out. And in the spirit of on this day, April fourth, on this day, April fourth, twenty fifteen, the forty seventh anniversary of the assassination of Reverend Dr. Prophet Martin Luther King Jr., who um, gave us a promised land vision. Yes, but it was a prophetic vision. I want to read from Ezekiel forty. Uh, 40 one through four, because that particular verse talks about a man who lived in the 20th year of our captivity. We know that Dr. King lived in the 20th century. They said that they took this man up to a very high mountain. Dr. King referred to it as a mountaintop. They said they told this man to look with his eyes and hear with his ears and set his heart on everything that they should show him because he, they brought him there to show, it, show him so he could go back and tell Israel. And they said that this man was brass in color. So we know that he was not a white man. And we know that Israel... When y'all God is real in your house, in your heart, yes, yes. and in your temple, mm -hmm. you are in mm -hmm. Israel. Mm -hmm. Man has given us a map 
that makes Greenland the size of a continent and Africa a continent the size of a country. So we know we can have no stock yes. in uh, man's concept of his map. When your God is real in your heart, in your life, you are in Israel. Amen. You're in Israel if you live in China. Mm -hmm. You're in Israel if you live in Chicago. Mm -hmm. It's just like children when they are at the subconscious brain level. You know, a baby doesn't cry in Chinese. Mm -hmm. A baby cries in cry. And a baby doesn't uh, uh, cry in Spanish. And he doesn't uh, cry in Italian. A baby all over the planet Earth will cry in baby cry. Mm -hmm. They are of one spirit, and mm -hmm. that's the way we have come. Because he said, if you humble yourself, uh, unless you humble yourself and come as a little child, you will not enter into the kingdom of Almighty Yah God. And when you think about that, if the, if the lion, the lamb, the kid, the calf, the fatling, all these animals, it is written, shall lie down together, and a little child shall lead them. But suppose you take the little child out of leadership, and you put one of the animals, one of the baby animals that the child was supposed to be leading. Suppose you put the kid, which is a baby goat. Suppose you put the baby goat in leadership. So now we have the lion, the lamb, the kid that's supposed to be among the group has replaced the child, and he's in leadership. A kid is an animal beast with four legs. A child is a human being person with two legs. A child is in the image and likeness of the creator that created him. But suppose you take that child out of leadership, and you have the four-legged beast, the kid, in leadership. Are you saying that the almighty your God you serve is a goat with, with four legs? Or is he a creature, a, 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 a creator with two legs and two eyes and two hands and two ears and the power to write words of, of, of words with his hands, words from his heart to express soul? Now you can have a dog, he'll bark all day, and a cat will meow all day, and a, and a, and a, and a horse will winny, winny, winny. But they will never write words of wisdom with a pen, words from their heart with a pen to express soul. Now give me the three not days. Of, do that. Give me the three days of respect. Humanitarian day is on the one day. Humanitarian day, January fifteenth. It's oh, of, that is Dr. King's actual birthday. Mm -hmm. But we do not toot the man King on January 15th. It is the principles of human and civil rights that we talk about on January 15th. And the reason you wear white color on January 15th is because we want to uh, stand out. We as a people... And 246 years is crime against humanity, uh, survivors, and Jim Crow genocide descendants. We have, uh, as a people, have been fed a heart, mind, and self-hate, soul, uh, uh, slave mentality damage until we are uh, uh, made always to feel lesser and smaller than anybody else. So if you stand out on the outside, maybe it will trickle in and you will start to stand out uh, inside and outside. And so that is why we and wear the, second the color day white. Is, uh, that is why we wear the color white on January 15th, the coldest month in the year, because nobody is wearing white. Mm -hmm. And when somebody comes up and tells you this is the coldest day and, and this is the coldest month in the year, why do you have all that white on? Then you can tell your story. I am wearing these, this white color because of the principles of human and civil rights. That I, as a Jim Crow genocide survivor and our descendants, were deprived of for 246 years by law. We could not read or write. By law, we were a property chattel slave. 
channel okay, and I got two more minutes. Property. What about uh, now the and second April color? April 4th, today, right, right. today, April 4th, Victims of Violence, Holy Day. This day on May, uh, on March 13th, April. on March 13th, 2000, uh, uh, on March 13th, 1985, myself as founding president of Global Committee Commemorating King Days, along with my preschool uh, class, presented uh, uh, 2,000 signatures to Mayor Harold Washington, asking him to proclaim April 4th as a day for victims of violence. After my sister, Helen Richard, the first female CTA driver ever slain in the line of duty, was killed. And I became the founding president of, of Global Committee Commemorating King Day. So we wear the color black on April 4th. Uh, the actual assassination date of Dr. Martin Luther, Prophet Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, because uh, there's nobody. This is the heart of springtime. People aren't wearing a lot of black. So when you wear this black, you wear black like Irish wear green. So again, you can stand out. And when somebody asks you, why do you have on all that black? You can say, I am wearing that black because, uh, Mark, uh, because of all the uh, things that have gone down throughout the years because my skin is black. So what I do on this day is I step out mm -hmm. out of my blackness and I mm -hmm. just look at that blackness and all the hatred and all the murder and all the torture yes. and all the crimes against humanity that's gone on because of my skin color. So I wear this color black and I love, I wear black and love because when I go out and I see all the things that have happened because my skin color is black, I don't want to get bitter. Mm -hmm. I want to get better. When I think about everything, black is negative. Mm -hmm. A black cow is negative. A black lie is negative. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 morning colors is, 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 is black. And angel food cake is white. And, and everything that's good is white. And everything that's bad black. is black. So that's why I wear these colors on that day to say, to tribute innocent victims of violence past and present, and, and, and ch missing children who are potential victims of violence. Mm -hmm. and, in, and also, I want our young people to know, they say, well, I believe with Malcolm X, he wasn't afraid. He didn't, uh, uh, Dr. King was nonviolent. And I said, well, you have to look at the, the strategy at play. Dr. King was going against the law. The law said segregation today, tomorrow, and forever. The law says you can pay for this tax, you can pay uh, for this park district through your taxes, but you can't use this park. You can pay for this library with your taxes, but you can't go in and use the library facility. Mm -hmm. So we had no Army, no Air Force, no Navy, no Marines, no Federal, State, and so Therefore, we had to put our soldiers against America's military force, and we still came out victorious because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Amen. So our third day is uh, August 28th, which also happens to be my birthday. <laughs> oh, well, which happens to be my <laughs> Earth Day birthday, and that's, uh -huh. a, that's a different lecture story. But it's, it is a phrase, uh, phrase that I made up because... Uh, when you are, I wanted to teach my children about sharing. I think sharing is the most important gift that we can have as human beings. We don't need to secure the blessings of liberty, to lock up a blessings for ourselves and our And that is dream day. It's we need to share the blessings of liberty. So in teaching my children how to share, uh, there was nothing in existence. So I created something. I said, well, you know, when you were alive, inside of your mother's body, she shared her food, her air, and her water with you. Mm -hmm. And that is why you should share with others. So I said, she shared her food, you were alive, but you had not been born on the earth. So then she gave birth, and you got born. Therefore, we celebrate Earth Day birthday. And you, if you, I know and how.
also called Dream Day, right? Uh, no, it, well, it's also no Earth Day birthday. No, I'm talking about August 28th. Uh, that's my Earth Day birthday. Yeah, right. But it's not also called Dream Day. Your Earth Day birthday is whatever day you got going. I'm, now I'm talking about the three, three days, days of birth. respect. But the three days of respect is January 15th, Humanitarian Day, 